Welcome to the last chapter in Repton's time travel adventure. So here we let out some fuzzies at the start. And there's a couple of little fighter things for them to go in up here. And we need to come in here to release some dirt from in front of there and down there. Because um, there's some transports up here. Through the one leads us onto this other side of here. And we want to do that quickly because there's actually some fungus up the top there. So you can see uh, Fuzzy locked away up there, so we'll have to find some way to let him out. And down through this nice little maze of crystals and robots and invisible space dust. So hey, what do you know, there's a Fuzzy here we can let out. But uh, there's another Fuzzy locked away here. Man, you think the Fuzzies have done something wrong. Anyway, so we kind of collect as many of these crystals as we can and kind of leave a way to join up the little fighter down there. And yes, there is some fungus in this uh, area here. So we kind of wait for the one fuzzy to come back down to his little space plane. There we go. He pilots it away and drops the crystal to say thanks. And then we got, oh my, another little fighter here as well, and an alien. So uh, we uh, drop a robot on the alien. And we come back down here and say, what was the alien hiding? He was hiding another alien. <sighs> so we deal with this alien. And we can obviously see that this alien's hiding our ray gun. So we quite want to get past him. So there we go, pop into the corner around all these nasty black holes to grab our precious ray gun to deal with those non-Dalek menaces. So uh, here comes the other fuzzy down here. Now we're going to direct him up into here. And while waiting for him to return, we can come down to where we started and sort out this little robot and crystal area. And now we can let that one fuzzy out. I mean, I could have done it earlier and connected that up and unblocked that. But it might have been a bit of a race to do so. So we let one out, hide around the corner, and let another one out and hide around the corner. And then let this one out. And unfortunately, he doesn't go straight to that little fighter there, so we'll have to come back here later. So now we loiter around here with our Paola robot, talk about space things, and then uh, once our fuzzy has arrived, we pop into here. Now, this is all fungus here, so it's quite dangerous, and we want to try and get away from it as quickly as possible, so we kind of encourage the fuzzies to move along. Of course, there's not much you can do to encourage a fuzzy to move along. They're kind of on their own schedule. Schedule? Schedule? Whatever. And now we can drop this load of robots. I mean, they're probably very high-priced or maybe in the future they're not very high priced, maybe this is like a very commercially produced robot that everybody's got. So it's like a landfill this is, or spaceville I suppose. Anyhow, now we time ourselves against a little fuzzy in that little area. So when he hits the gun we run down, and then pop in the transporter so we're just in the right place when he's uh, far away from us so that we can pop through here to let him into his little fighter. 
but obviously we ran past a lot of crystals and we also ran past an alien. Yep, we've got one more alien to deal with on this level. And we kind of lead him around this way because going over the top is kind of tempting fate, really. And then we robot smash him and go to the moon. Last level now, and we race quickly here to get out of the way of the fuzzy, and then he lets us down here, which is where another fuzzy is. So we go past into the little fuzzy's area to um, get a crystal and get this fighter opened up. You can see the fuzzy was around there. And that's just where we want to be to get these crystals. Now we go back to where the fuzzy's entered his little plane now. And up and around, and we're going the one transporter in the middle of the spiral thing. We've got to time it against this fuzzy, because we're going to be transporting into that area. And obviously we don't want to transport on top of him. So we grab a gun and we also let that fuzzy into there and transport out of here. Now I'll wait a little bit in here for another fuzzy to show up because that's the way I've timed things here. And uh, we get an alien upset at us and we've got these two little um, fighter thingies for the fuzzies to come to. Now what the aliens sat on top of is actually a skull. So when we remove one of those crystals, the uh, alien's going to drop, so we want to wait until the other fuzzy comes to do so. And then we kind of lead the one alien into a position where he can come up and around, and then run the robot, and then the two aliens will get into the top corner of that area there, and then come down for us to be squished. So now we're going up to a teleporter, which will take us into the final area. You can see the moon there. And there's some more fuzzies. I make a little way free to go to that little plane there. There's one down there, which we've made available. And there's one down here, too. And we can see a little alien here as well. And... Um, Oh yes, I haven't mentioned already, the time loot on this level is quite tight, really. So, you have to figure out what you have to do, start off with, then figure out a way to optimise it to make sure you're under the time limit. So we're going down these kind of like little space roads here to get to the crystals, and then we push our friend off there, and also drop the robot down straight onto him. <clears throat> and obviously make sure we can get out of there by not dropping too many robots down and then to the moon just as time runs out and that's it the end of Repton 3 time and the end of the Repton 3 engine games um, not done with the LP yet got still Repton 2 to do and Repton Infinity so I'll see you next time with Repton 2